The Allies of Humanity by Marshall Varen Summers First Briefing The Extraterrestrial Presence in the World Today It is a great honor for us to be able to present this information to all of you who are fortunate enough to hear this message. We are the Allies of Humanity. This transmission is being made possible by the presence of the Unseen Ones, the spiritual counselors who oversee the development of intelligent life both within your world and throughout the greater community of worlds. We are not communicating through any mechanical device, but through a spiritual channel that is free from interference. Though we live in the physical, as do you, we are given the privilege to communicate in this way in order to deliver the information that we must share with you. We represent a small group who is observing the events of your world. We come from the greater community. We do not interfere in human affairs. We have no establishment here. We have been sent for a very specific purpose to witness the events that are occurring in your world, and, given the opportunity to do so, to communicate to you what we see, and what we know. If you live on the surface of your world, and cannot see the affairs that surround it, nor can you see clearly the visitation that is occurring in your world at this time, or what it portents for your future, we would like to give testimony to this. We are doing so at the request of the Unseen Ones, for we have been sent for this purpose. The information that we are about to impart to you may seem very challenging and startling. It is perhaps unexpected by many who will hear this message. We understand this difficulty, for we have had to face this within our own cultures. As you hear the information, it may be difficult to accept at first, but it is vital for all who would seek to make a contribution in the world. For many years we have been observing the affairs of your world. We seek no relations with humanity. We are not here on a diplomatic mission. We have been sent by the Unseen Ones to live in the proximity of your world in order to observe the events we are about to describe. Our names are not important. They would be meaningless to you. And we shall not impart them for our own safety, for we must remain hidden in order that we may serve. To begin, it is necessary for people everywhere to understand that humanity is emerging into a greater community of intelligent life. Your world is being visited by several alien races, and by several different organizations of races. This has been actively going on for some time. There have been visitations throughout human history, but nothing of this magnitude. The advent of nuclear weapons and the destruction of your natural world have brought these forces to your shores. There are many people in the world today, we understand, who are beginning to realize that this is occurring. And we understand as well that there are many interpretations of this visitation what it could mean and what it could offer. And many of the people who are aware of these things are very hopeful and anticipate a great benefit for humanity. We understand. It is natural to expect this. It is natural to be hopeful. The visitation in your world now is very extensive, so much so that people in all parts of the world are witnessing it and are experiencing its effects directly. What has brought these visitors from the greater community, these different organizations of beings, is not to promote the advancement of humanity or the spiritual education of humanity. What has brought these forces to your shores in such numbers with such intention are the resources of your world. This we understand may be difficult to accept at first, because you cannot yet appreciate how beautiful your world is, how much it possesses, and what a rare jewel it is in a greater community of barren worlds and empty space. Worlds such as yours are rare indeed. Most places in the greater community that are inhabited now have been colonized, and technology has made this possible. But worlds such as yours, where life has evolved naturally, without the aid of technology, are far more rare than you might realize. Others take great notice of this, of course, for the biological resources of your world have been used by several races for millennia. It is considered a storehouse for some, and yet the development of human culture and dangerous weapons, and the deterioration of these resources, have caused the alien intervention. Perhaps you might wonder why diplomatic efforts are not established to contact the leaders of humanity. This is reasonable to ask. But the difficulty here is that there is no one to represent humanity, for your people are divided, and your nations oppose one another. It is also assumed by these visitors, that we speak of, that you are warlike and aggressive, and that you would bring harm and hostility to the universe around you despite your good qualities. 
Therefore, in our discourse we want to give you an idea of what is occurring, what it will mean for humanity, and how it is related to your spiritual development, your social development and your future in the world, and in the greater community of worlds itself. People are unaware of the presence of alien forces. You know aware of the presence of resource explorers, of those who would seek an alliance with humanity for their own benefit. Perhaps we should begin here, by giving you an idea of what life is like beyond your shores, for you have not journeyed afar, and cannot account for these things yourself. You live in a part of the galaxy, that is quite inhabited. Not all parts of the galaxy are so inhabited. There are great unexplored regions. There are many hidden races. Trade and commerce between worlds, are only carried on in certain areas. The environment that you will emerge into is a very competitive one. The need for resources is experienced everywhere, and many technological societies have outstripped the world's natural resources and must trade, barter and travel to gain what they need. It is a very complicated situation. Many alliances are formed, and conflicts do occur. Perhaps at this point it is necessary to realize, that the greater community into which you are emerging is a difficult environment and a challenging one, and yet it brings great opportunity and great possibilities for humanity. However, for these possibilities and these advantages to be realized, humanity must prepare and come to learn what life in the universe is like, and it must come to understand what spirituality means within a greater community of intelligent life. We understand from our own history, that this is the greatest threshold, that any world will ever face. It is not something, however, that you can plan for yourself. It is not something, that you can design for your own future. For the very forces that would bring the greater community reality here are already present in the world. Circumstances have brought them here. They are here. Perhaps this gives you an idea, of what life is like beyond your borders. We do not want to create an idea that is fearful, but it is necessary for your own well-being, and for your future, that you have an honest appraisal, and can come to see these things clearly. The need to prepare for life in the greater community, we feel, is the greatest need there is in your world today. And yet, from our observation, people are preoccupied with their own affairs, and their own problems in their daily lives. You know aware of the greater forces, that will change their destiny and affect their future. The forces and groups who are here today represent several different alliances. These different alliances are not united with each other in their efforts. Each alliance represents several different racial groups who are collaborating for the purpose of gaining access to your world's resources and maintaining this access. These different alliances are, in essence, competing with each other, though they are not at war with one another. They see your world as a great prize, something they want to have for themselves. This creates a very great challenge for your people, for the forces who are visiting you, not only have advanced technology, but also strong social cohesion, and are able to influence thought in the mental environment. You see, in the greater community, technology is easily acquired, and so the great advantage between competing societies is the ability to influence thought. This has taken on very sophisticated demonstrations. It represents a set of skills, that humanity is only beginning to discover. As a result, your visitors do not come armed with great weapons, or with armies, or with armadas of vessels. They come in relatively small groups, but they possess considerable skill in influencing people. This represents a more sophisticated, and mature use of power in the greater community. It is this ability, that humanity will have to cultivate in the future, if it is to contend with other races successfully. The visitors are here to gain humanity's allegiance, 